Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video I wanted to explore the hypothetical lava planets and specifically take a look at some of the planets that we think might be these super hot worlds that have nothing but lava on them. And we might even be able to recreate them using Universe Sandbox. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So there's at least four or possibly five planets that we are almost certain have such a tremendously hot temperature that uh, they're basically are lava planets. They have nothing but lava on their surface and are so unimaginably hot that you'll definitely die there within seconds after landing. So let's go out there and explore some of the more famous ones and actually take a look at them in Space Engine first and then try to recreate them using Universe Sandbox. And here's the first start. This is actually um, one of the more well-known ones, Korot 7. As you can see, there's actually two planets and both of them are very, very likely very hot. But the closest one known as Korot 7b that I'm going to go to right now is the one we think is probably a lava planet. Now in this simulation, it might not really look as lava-like as I would like it to, uh, because this game doesn't really simulate lava very well just yet, but it definitely is super hot. The temperature here is close to 2000 degrees Celsius, at which point most of the surface here would very likely be completely molten. Now, if you land on this planet in the game, it kind of just looks like a very, very hot desert. As a matter of fact, the surface here looks kind of survivable, but that's not as realistic as we would like it to be. And we're going to recreate this later in Universe Sandbox just to show you what it really looks like. So this is Core 7B and what we kind of know about this is that it's very likely that this used to be a much, much larger planet. It was probably even very Jupiter-like, but now it's more Earth-like. And because it's so close to its parent star, the atmosphere and the layers and layers of material were actually burned away from it. And you can see all of this happening right here in real time through this comet-like tail that Corot 7b is creating around, uh, around its parent star. So that's basically, it, it loses its material in that way. All right, next planet is a Kepler planet, and this is a planet known as Kepler-10b. Now, this was actually, unusually, the first terrestrial world that was confirmed on when it was just discovered in 2011. And in this sense, it, in the game at least, it kind of looks like Core 7b, but the temperature here is even higher. It's like two th over 2000 degrees Celsius, and it's very, very likely, very similar looking to Core 7b, a lava-like world. Um, very likely tightly locked to its parent star and also very likely with a lot of tail behind it because it's burning away all of this material. So Kepler is quite um, likely a similar world to Kepler 7b with maybe just maybe a bit of a thicker atmosphere. And this is us escaping the atmosphere because we're about to go to the third planet, also Kepler planet. Kepler 78b. This was discovered back in 2013 and as you can see kind of looks very similar again. Um, and this particular lava planet is going to be one day swallowed by its parent star because it's actually moving closer and closer to the parent star and within the next few billion years it's going to be gone completely. And at the same time it's also losing so much material that by the time that the star swallows it there's going to be almost nothing left. So it's going to be much, much smaller than, than it currently is. Possibly actually similar in size to Mercury and similar in mass to Mercury than it is right now. And right now it's actually about 1.7 masses of our Earth. So it's more massive than Earth. So these are the three uh, lava-like planets. That, and, you know, we need to also talk about some of the more extreme planets. Like, for example, Kelt 9b. Now, unfortunately, this is not present in this game, but I've talked about Kelt 9b in one of the previous videos where I've described it in a lot of detail and you can check out this video right here. And that particular planet is super hot. The temperatures there approach 5000 degrees Celsius and it's actually even hotter than 
most of the stars in our galaxy. Uh, but there's another planet I'm going to take a look at, but we're actually not going to talk about it in a lot of detail because this planet might not really exist. Now, this object is orbiting the star known as Rigel Centaurus b. You may have never heard of this star, but you definitely have, because that's actually Alpha Centauri b. That's the closest star to our solar system. But the problem here is that uh, originally we thought that there was a planet here. We thought this planet was real. And we thought this was a level planet. But then further discoveries and further tests show that it's possibly that this is just a mathematical or a statistical anomaly. These happen because our discoveries of various planets are not 100% accurate. And this right here might be such an unusual anomaly. There's still going to be more tests later on in future years to see if this is actually a real world or not. But if it is a real world, it's going to be very, very hot. Very likely a level planet as well. And potentially the hottest, closest planet to our solar system at a distance of just over 4 light years away. So this right here is also known as Alpha Centauri BB. Now, let's go to Universe Sandbox and let's create some of these planets. Because Universe Sandbox allows us to actually create these lava planets very, very easily. So we're going to create them around our own solar system, mostly because all of these stars we've visited are very, very similar to our own sun. They're all, or most of them are uh, G-type stars just like our sun, maybe slightly less massive than it. Okay, first of all, here is Mercury, um, and this is at a distance of something like 0.38 astronomical units away from the Sun, and it's obviously not a lava planet. It's a very hot planet. Temperatures here are about 140 degrees Celsius, but there is no actual lava here, unlike objects like Io. However, the planets we've, dis we've talked about, the planets we've discovered in Space Engine, all very likely have lava on them because they're much, much closer. So let's start with Corot 7b, which is actually right here. Now, this object is super, super close to its star. So let's, let me just place it where it actually is. So it's at a distance of about 0.014 astronomical units, which is this close in comparison to Mercury. So, because of the proximity to the Sun, uh, this object is going to very, very quickly become this superheated lava planet and definitely look very different from anything we've seen in our own solar system. As a matter of fact, it's probably even emitting light from the other side of the planet because it's so, so hot. All of the other planets look very similar to this, so there might actually not be any visual differences even in real life. So here are the other um, planets we've discovered here, not including Kelet 9 about which we've talked about previously. So Kepler-7b is the most massive, this is uh, very likely even bigger than Jupiter in terms of at least the radius, but not in terms of mass, and here are the other two planets, Alpha Centauri BB, which might not actually exist, and Kepler 78b. I'm going to launch this simulation and I have a feeling they might actually collide into each, into each other because they're so close to each other. But all of them look kind of similar to each other and most importantly, all of them orbit the um, star very close to, uh, to the actual star. So in terms of proximity, this is how close all of them are. And if you were to move away to where Earth is, you would barely even see them. They're so close to the star that they're barely even visible. So the only way for us to see these planets is to see them uh, move across the uh, sky and then intercept the changes in luminosity or see the actual sun move around a little bit due to the pulls from these planets. Now, so that's what these lava planets look like and these are the confirmed lava planets we've definitely discovered and know about. Except, of course, maybe this one here, Alpha Centauri BB. With Kelt 9b obviously being the hottest of the bunch. There's probably going to be a lot more of these discovered in the future, but for now that's all I wanted to talk about and hopefully you learned something from this video. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else and to potentially learn something you've never known before. Space out, and as always, bye bye. And if you ever wondered what happens when you explode a lava planet, 
you're about to discover. Let's go into tools and explode this beautiful world.